Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for February March 2025. I am going to do the spreadsheet task. The previous tasks are already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So we are starting with task 4 spreadsheet. You will edit the spreadsheet to calculate the surface area of walls in a room. Open and examine the file m25calc.cs. So I have the files here. Open the file. This is the file. Make sure all the data are visible. Place left aligned in the center the text created by float by a space, then your name, center number, and candidate number. That should be in the header left aligned. So go to insert header and footer left aligned created by then give a space then your name center number and candidate number. Place right aligned in the header, the text created on, followed by a space, the automated date, a space, then the text at, followed by a space, then the automated time. So on the right side, created on, give a space, then the current date, so select current date, then a space. The text at, then space, current time. Save this as a spreadsheet with the file name M25 area followed by your center number and candidate number. So let's go to the normal view. Go to view, normal. Save as. Inside your folder, M25 area followed by your center number and candidate number. Make sure it is saved as Excel workbook. Insert a new row between rows 1 and 2. So this is rows 1 and 2 between row 1 and 2. So right click on row 2. Insert. In row 2, enter the text. All dimensions are in meters. So you have to enter the text. All dimensions are in meters. Merge cells A1 to B1. Format this cell to be white with 24 points sans serif on a black background. So merge A1 to B1. Should be 24 point. Sans serif. Background should be black. Phone color should be white. You can give wrap text here. Increase the height of the row. Merge cells A2 to B2 format the spreadsheet like this. So you can merge A2 to B2. Here you can see this is bold. So let's set it to bold. Make sure this is vertically aligned to the middle. So click on vertical alignment. Now all these text must be right aligned and all these numeric values must be center aligned. So make sure all these are right aligned and these values are center aligned. So 
So the formatting is done. Place in cell B12 a validation rule to restrict data entry to only the text yes or no. In cell B12, so this is cell B12, you need to set the validation. So go to data, data validation. Select list and we need to display yes or no. So give yes, comma, no. The value should be separated by comma. Data must be selected from a drop down list and no other data must be allowed. Place in your evidence document screenshot showing validation rules including the validation criteria. So it should be in cell drop down. You can ignore the blank so only yes or no is allowed. Now you can take a screenshot of this. So you have the drop down list yes or no here. This is step 14. So in your evidence document. Step 14 evidence. Next, delete rows 16 to 19, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So 16 to 19, you have to delete. Right click, delete. Place in B16 a formula to calculate the area of the ceiling. Area is room length multiplied by room width. In B16 equal to room length multiplied by width. So room length multiplied by width. Place in cell B17 a formula to calculate the area of the walls. So the formula is given like this area equal to room height. So let's give the in cell B17. So in cell B17, we'll give the formula equal to room height. So this is room height multiplied by 2 multiplied by room length plus room width, room length plus room width. Just select the cells as given minus door height. So door height multiplied by door width. So this is door width. Close the bracket plus reveal depth multiplied by 2 multiplied by door height plus door width. So this is the formula. Just follow all the parentheses as given in the formula. Now if a window is present, add this to the area of the walls within the same formula. So if a win we have to check if a window is present, then this formula has to be added to the formula we entered now. So this is our current formula. So we have to give plus if window is present. So window will be mentioning here if it is yes or no in cell B12. So if B12 equal to yes. If it is yes, we are using an if formula. If 
you can click on fx so if it is yes we have to if there is a window we have to do the this calculation so it will be reveal death multiplied by 2 multiplied by window so 2 multiplied by window height multiplied by window width close the bracket minus window height multiplied by window width otherwise we don't have to do anything so just give zero here nothing has to be added so if it is yes this has to be this formula has to be added give ok so this is our final formula print your spreadsheet showing the formula make sure the printout is in landscape orientation you can remove this so in order to show the formula go to formulas show formulas It should be landscape orientation, row and column headings are displayed. So go to the file print option, set it to landscape. Make sure everything is visible. You have to show the row and column headings. Go to page setup, sheet, row and column headings. You OK? So this is the required printout. You can select the printer here. Next print your spreadsheet showing the values. Make sure that the printout fits on a single page. It is portrait. Row and column headings are not displayed. So you can remove the formula. Now adjust the width once more. Now we have to print this showing the values. So go to print. You need to set it to portrait. And no need to show the row and column heading. So go to page setup. Sheet remove row and column headings give ok and contents are visible then you can print the values and then we have to print the evidence document so this is the end of the spreadsheet task please check the description for the link for web page task thank you for now